Hello guys, welcome to Senton and for today's episode we will be talking about my top 5 mistakes in buying plants and I'll teach you how you can avoid them and save your precious money. Mistake number 1, buying plants just because they are cheap. Before, I used to buy plants just because they are pretty and cheap, without really considering if they can survive the shipping, or if they are hard to take care of, or if they are even suitable to my local climate. So in the end, I just wasted my money on a plant that died on me. Mistake number two, buying expensive cuttings. Young plants are in a very critical stage of development. There is a high risk that they will not survive, most especially cuttings. Having to ship them, giving them new soil, and having temperature change can surely affect the development of the plant. So it is always better to invest on a mature plant that will survive than waste your money on expensive cuttings that will just die. Mistake number 3. Buying expensive plants in far places. There are plants that are not strong enough to survive long shipping, such as alocasias, begonias, and caladiums. Young plants that are not yet established can easily die as well. So, do your research first and make sure that the type of plant that you're buying is strong and stable. And if you're going to invest in expensive plants, it is better to buy from sellers near to your place because they will be delivered to you on a pot the same day. The plant will be acclimated to your local weather, so there is a greater assurance that they will grow well in your garden. Mistake number four, buying plants that you don't know how it should look like. Some plants can look very similar, but in price, one is way more expensive, like the Philodendron Pink Princess and Royal Queen, which can be sold as a reverted Pink Princess, or the Anthurium Magnificum and Crystallinum, which can be similar as well. So, if you are not well aware, you might be owning a cheaper plant thinking that you own an expensive one. So do your research before buying and know the difference between similar looking plants. Mistake number 5. Buying plants from unknown sellers. Online scammers are all around and selling rare plants at a lesser price. Don't be so eager to own one without having to verify the authenticity of the seller. Check their profile if they are legitimate, see if they have a business page, and try to read the reviews if available. Wanting to own a rare plant at cheap price might cost you more, so be careful. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this talk and learned something from it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode. Goodbye!